Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will look at how to create Sparkle queries for the ontologies which we created in Protege. If you want to know how to create an ontology in Protege or how to install and set up Apache Jena, you can check out my previous videos on this topic. I'll add a link in the description below or you can click the pop-up cards at the top to check out these videos. Stay tuned. You are watching the Artificial Intelligence and Data Science channel. Subscribe for more amazing videos. We will now look at querying an ontology that we created using Protege. I'll be using an ontology called University for querying. If you want to know the details of the ontology that I use for querying, I'll quickly walk through the details of the ontology at the end of this video so that if you want to create the same ontology and query it, you can pause the video to get the details and try it out yourself. Before getting into Jenna, a quick word on Sparkle. Sparkle is a recursive acronym that stands for Sparkle Protocol and RDF Query Language that is able to retrieve and manipulate data in stored in RDF format. It was made a standard by the RDF Data Access Working Group of the W3C and is recognized as one of the key technologies of the semantic web. The structure of a Sparkle query is as follows. Prefix. Prefix is used to define the namespace used in a query. Select. This clause indicates the data that is returned after querying. From. This clause indicates the graph from which it should be queried. Where. This clause indicates the graph patterns used for matching the RDF triplets. Let's check them out in the software for a better understanding. We are now in the Apache Jena Fuseki web server. What we are going to do is first to add the dataset. For that we go to manage dataset. Add new dataset. I'm going to give persistence so that it stays in the memory even after the software restarts. University create dataset upload data and upload. So if it is success, it will show that the result is success and the number of triples currently there in your ontology. To query, let's go to query. Now let's type a query to see all the elements in the current ontology. For that we give select subject predicate and object. What this does is it selects all the subject predicate and ob object triples available in the current ontology and we click the run. So you can see that there are 378 entries in the current ontology. If you want to add a limit to the query output, you can add it by using the limit function. Limit, say 10. And if you run it, you can see only the first 10 entries are shown. If you want to query after the first 10 entries, you can do that by setting an offset value. What this does is, it will select the 10 values after the first 10. So this skips the first 10 and then shows the next 10. Now let's try and get the name of all the students admitted by the university. For that, so we set the prefix table. The prefix table indicates the table from which it should query. And the select clause will give the name as we are interested to find the name of all the students. We want to get the name, so select name. And the where clause will give what type of triples that the query should look for. So in this case, query looks for all the triples which admits students and returns name of those students. So where So this should give the name of all the students admitted in this university and we run it. You see you get the name of all the students admitted in that particular university. Now similarly let's try and find the name of all the staffs employed by the university. And this gives the name of all the staffs employed in the university. Now let's try and modify this and find the name of all the staff and the joining date. What I'm going to modify is I want to get the name and the date. So this tells the query to search for all the 
staff employed by the university and to get their name and to return the name and the date. And this gives details of all the staff along with the drawing date. The query matches the first condition and the second condition and gives us the output which matches both the triples. Now let's find the details of all the students and their drawing date. So now we have all the students with their joining date. We'll try ordering this a bit by arranging the joining date. For that, what we do is order by and date. So you can see the list is modified by the joining date. Now if you want to find the courses which each student has enrolled, course I'll just remove this for time being so this gives a list of all the students and the corresponding courses which they have enrolled for now let's add the joining date to this and order by the joining date Now we have the details of all the students and the course with the joining date in an ordered manner. Instead of ordering them by joining date, we can also order them by name. For that, we can just go to over here and replace this date by name. So you can see now the list is ordered by the name of the students. Now let's see all the students with the corresponding ID numbers. So for that name and ID by university admits name this gives a list of all the students with the corresponding student ID. Now if I want to find the first five students admitted by the university what I do is I order the ID by the ascending number and limit the entries to five students. So the same thing are modified. So this gives a list of first five students admitted to this particular university. Now say we want to find the students who have credit above or below a particular value. So what we do is first find the credit available to the students. Credit. as credit credit so this gives a list of all the students with available credit and then I give a filter by option to filter the students above or below particular credit filter credit less than say 1500 so this gives me a list of all the students who have a credit of less than 1500 I want to see the students above 1500 it gives a list of all the students above 1500 now if I want to see the students who does not have any credit assigned to them I can use the filter does not exist option This shows that one person does not have any credit assigned to them. Describe is used to get the description about a particular item. So this gives a description about the table student ID. To find all matching triples in our ontology, we can use a star symbol. So this selects all the triples that match these properties. So you can see there are 10 entries that match both the conditions. Now as you know, there is one entry without a credit value. If I want to get that entry into this list, what I do is I give the second option as an optional value. So 
So you see the difference. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got an idea about Sparkle Query. If you found the video useful, make sure to like, subscribe and share the video with others. Thank you and see you in the next video.